Hey, hey, here with Easy Jeezy. I don't know if this is going to work out or not, but uh, I thought I'd bring you along just to see how things go. Uh, a day in the life of Easy Jeezy, doing a little plumbing side job uh, out here early. Got uh, my tools uh, loaded up in the truck. So, that's where uh, my time goes, and that's why I'm not uh, making as many videos and stuff. Got the little Toyota here. I'm going to put their address. I got one of those uh, GPS deals. So Okay, we're at the house and uh, what we're going to do is uh, put a new faucet in here. And the old one, the problem was the handle would turn but it wouldn't allow the water to come on. And I will show you downstairs uh, what happened. And it's lucky that he called me when he did. This is the first time I've ever changed one of these things out that the Usually they call you when the house is flooding, but in this case, we got it in time, and uh, when we pulled it out, there was a big split. I'll show you here. I'll turn you back on. Here, here's the old one right here. See that split? That's because this uh, somebody left the hose on, or the water didn't come out, and they had insulation packed up tight all around this thing, all the way back, and uh, it uh, it expanded. It got cold, and that's the south side of the house, and it it. It, that's what happens it splits now the shutoff part is right here in the back so even though that splits and when it melts no it doesn't melt into the house that's the whole idea and this vacuum breaker here that's on the end where his hand is that's supposed to be to allow it to drain uh, but for some reason all things aside this man is lucky he called me out here and uh, we pulled it out not expecting to do that the problem is was that he called me for go ahead and turn that handle the handle would turn and it wouldn't open the valve it just kept turning and turning and turning and the handles not stripped so you can hear it turning the rod in there so my goodness what a blessing this guy's living living life he's got the spirit with him buddy now <laughs> What, what we had to do, and this is the part that bothers people, was we had to cut a hole in the ceiling here, and you can see, you know, I tried to make it so that a, a register would fit over it, and we've got a place to work. But if you have a finished basement like this, and you have that insulation packed up around the pipe so that the heat from the room can't go up there, then that's what happened. And uh, this, this, how old is this house? It's 98. It's a 98 home, and this is the first time we had a real cold winter this time, and it was enough to make that baby split. So once we get it all done, we're going to put this register up there, and the, the heat from this room will go up there and prevent that from happening, in addition to having to drain it, because you still need to take that hose off. Okay, the new faucet is in. So that little air in the line there. Now, when you shut it off, See how that water keeps running? That's what you need to happen. So anyhow, we're heading back to the barn, and like I told you in another video, uh, I was meeting these people in these uh, seniors exercise classes, and somebody asked me, you know, how I liked retirement and what I used to do, and I told them I was a plumber, and they talked to somebody else, and they needed a plumbing job, which is the one we just did together here. And uh, uh, it makes me feel good to, you know, charge a, a lower than the going rate help uh, some other people out some seniors so I gotta I gotta hustle a little bit so I can buy the Volkswagen parts and uh, that's uh, that's kind of the what I'm up to but it's it's nice to be able to not be pressured not have five other jobs that I gotta do today and and uh, help somebody else out and it helps me too so it works both ways and hopefully they'll be pleased and enough and they'll mention it to somebody else i might get another job in that neighborhood uh and that's just how how you grow a business and how i appreciate every view that i get and all the comments that i get and all the love i get from you guys and i'm hoping that somebody learned something from from this little video and that's what my channel is about is trying to uh teach and help others and we're just all struggling through life and and share it in my struggle so uh you have a great day thanks for watching thanks for subbing easy jeezy out